Good evening, everyone. Jamie Rotermeyer couldn't get them to listen in life, but News 4's Rachel Kingston reports Jamie's message about bullies is having a big impact at the school he left behind in desperation. Eric Ferguson has seen and heard bullying in the hallways on almost a daily basis at Williamsville North High School. You get name calling, and last year there was a major problem with. The freshmen, they were very aggressive towards each other. And my English teacher actually stepped in, and we spent three of our classes talking about solutions. But ever since Jamie Rodemeyer, a freshman at North, took his own life, Ferguson says fewer students are talking trash and more are talking about solutions. Since Jamie's death, there's been a major change. People are beginning to see that bullying is a severe epidemic. And now when you talk to people about bullying, they say that they're trying to watch what they're saying to others. Some parents are concerned about how Williamsville is combating bullying, despite reassurances in a recent letter from the district. For them, being told that there will be disciplinary consequences for those who bully, as well as support for children who are victims of bullying, isn't good enough. They want to hear specifics. As a parent of kids in the district and in the school, not just the district, We'd like to know what's happening. And even just an assurance that, yes, we know who these kids are. Even if administrators can't share specifics, Ferguson can. Today, there are two announcements on our PA saying that bullying is not tolerated. If you see bullying, you have to report it. And everybody, when those announcements were on, they were silent. They listened. It's just that's north. We're respectful to each other. Of course, this is only one student's perspective, and Ferguson admits he doesn't personally know the Rotemeyers. When he contacted us today, he said he just wanted people to know that the majority of his classmates are respectful and supportive of one another. Live, Rachel Kingston for the 10 o'clock news.